I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. my beautiful nerds and welcome back to yet another episode of mass effect 2 legendary edition on insanity difficulty right here on missile dine online what's up that's me that's my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another mass effect 2 video if you are hearing anything in the background during this episode i am recording with a brand new puppy in the office uh who is currently sleeping under me and i am not going to move her for the point is uh if you hear anything it's a new puppy that we got and her name is darcy anyways thank you so much for watching this video a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres and even bigger shout out to those of you commenting and liking and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dine online uh, i sincerely appreciate you guys i know this series isn't super popular but those of you uh keeping me around on patreon and on twitch and on the youtube memberships thank you so much uh for allowing me to do this i i appreciate you so Today's episode is going to be our penultimate loyalty mission, and fair warning, it is going to be a lot of dialogue, but it's really, really cool dialogue. In the last episode, we got our final squad mate to join us, the final member of our team, which is this here, Legion, a Geth infiltrator. And now you know exactly why I've waited to this point to do Tally's loyalty mission, because we, my friends, are going to bring Legion, an active Geth, with us to uh, to the flotilla, to the quarians. I'm sure nothing could go wrong. But first, I think uh, I think Legion has something uh, he wants to tell us. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Legion can beatbox and do the robot. So, in case you didn't know that. Anyways, uh, we are going to talk to Legion and Shepherd get some Commander. some dialogue. Let's see if we can learn anything about Legion. I'd like to find out more about you. He's gonna say- We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I was gonna say he's gonna say no. However- I have questions about the gap. We can That's interrogate him a little bit to find out some things, including upgrades. We need every advantage if this mission is gonna succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? And it's not as exciting as you would think. Is approved. We need to access your FTL com system to download relevant data. <laughs> yeah, all right, I guess. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. And we get a prototype here, and this is the Custom Widow Rifle. Legion gets a Widow Anti-Material Rifle. So we can get this for 15,000 credits. The cool thing about this is this is actually one of the sniper rifles that we could have gotten, or the sniper rifle that we could have gotten over when we did the Reaper ship mission. Remember when we have the choice between the assault rifle, the sniper, or the um, shotgun? In the hands of a Geth Infiltrator like, like Legion, this thing is a beast it's so good so yes we are going to research that but we have more questions for legion since we just got him to our party and we want to exhaust all dialogue options with him since we have him for such a limited amount of time shepherd commander i have questions about the geth specify i'm surprised you can speak the geth i fought before just made a stuttering sound we prefer direct digital transfer geth network communication travels at light speed Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. So basically, uh, it's like having ADHD. Cool, thanks. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies, by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. 
That's so cool. And something that I think is super fascinating is what about Sovereign and the Geth? Because as we know in Mass Effect 1, the Geth were serving Saren and therefore Sovereign. Did Sovereign contact the Geth or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. And there you have it, Sovereign's real name, Nazara? What did you call Sovereign? Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler, a Sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship, one will, many minds, like the Geth. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Geth. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. I'm also pretty sure that was told to us on Vermeyer, and not on Ilos. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign. The heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. Haha, <laughs> that is super cool. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. We have reproduced our ranged armament. No further co-development is possible. And my friends, that is all we that we get can get work. from Legion, for now anyways, which means that we need to complete one mission until we can get Legion's loyalty mission. Here's the thing, now that we have the Reaper IFF, we only have two missions until uh, something happens and we need to go to the Omega-4 relay immediately. So we really only have time for two missions. Luckily for us, I timed it right so that we could bring Legion to Tally's loyalty mission and therefore giving us Legion's loyalty mission. And then we can complete that and hopefully get as much dialogue as possible before the very end, uh, the final story mission of this game, even though I do consider Arrival, the Arrival DLC to be the actual final story mission. So with that said, that means we're going down to talk to Tally and see what's going on with her, if we can help her and, uh, I think we're about to find out a lot about the Quarians, and like I said, this is a dialogue-heavy episode, so get ready, hold on to your butts, let's see if we can help out Tally by, you know, bringing an active Geth on board the flotilla. I'm sure it'll be fine. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. So something is obviously going on here. There is no way that Tally would ever, ever do this to the, to the flotilla, to the quarians, to her people. There's no way. So what's going on? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Yeah, I'd say. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Well, let's see if we can find out a little bit more before seeing if we can go help her on this trial. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. 
So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. So she doesn't actually know exactly what charge, only that it's treason. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Does that remind anybody of a uh, certain Star Wars movie? I kind of love that. Anyways, what is the punishment if Tally is convicted for treason? What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Huh. I actually really like how they deal with that. Now, I will say, if you don't like the Quarian, um, this loyalty mission and the amount of dialogue and the amount of back uh, kind of exposition and cultural learning that we're about to receive, the history of the Quarians, the, the current po political standing of the Quarians, this probably isn't going to be like your favorite thing. However, I love the Quarians and I am super fascinated by everything Bioware has done here with uh, describing the world of these Quarians. I'm, it's awesome. So let's go ahead. Let's help. Uh, let's help Tally. Okay. Let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. All right, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And like I said, we do have time now. Be if you don't complete these two missions, you actually do have time to shop and do anything before those two missions are down. So we could do, we could go do um, this mission and then uh, go shopping and then do the second one. That's totally fine. Uh, so just, you can consider that while you're going through. You don't need to be completely done with your shopping yet. And in fact, we will get some money from doing this loyalty mission. So uh, we will be doing a shopping trip right after this and I'm that's good because we're almost done there's basically only two upgrades that I want so we're gonna head how out of the Hawking Ada system where we finished up the Reaper IFF or received the Reaper IFF and we're going to use this mass relay to go to a brand new cluster here the Valhallen threshold where of course when we arrive we're going to be scanning all of the planets uh, getting 100% completion, and then, of course, finding the flotilla, which we'll actually see right here. But there are some other, syst uh, other uh, systems, I guess, that we can go to, Mica and Paz, so let's explore those real quick. And very hidden over here in the one of the, the, the asteroid belt, I guess, if you will, is yet another planet, Israfield. This is the largest of the Ezo trio. Israfil is a silicate-heavy, carbonaceous asteroid home to approximately 40 species of microorganisms, and it was blamed as a source of the prion-based bio-warfare agent used by a terrorist group on their attack on Gargarin Station in 2184. The SSV Manila and a team of ep uh maintain watch over the asteroid ship traffic for now, so let's go ahead and scan this, and I'm expecting a ton of Element Zero. I was wrong, there was barely any. But over here, we can find one of the other little asteroid planets, one of those uh, Ezo tri uh, trios. Let's see, I keep almost saying trilogy. And of course, this one does have a pretty decent amount of element zero. And finally, the last one that we can find of the Ezo trio is Kakabel. Kaka what? 
And now that we've finished this system, we actually are leaving with about 15,000 more element zero than when we started, which is pretty awesome. Now we're gonna go to Paz, finish up this system, and then finally we can help Tally. And this is a very easy one to do. There is one planet here that we need to explore, and it is Garvog. It was a bargain world given to the Krogan to placate them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. The Krogan completely adapted, as they do, breeding hundreds of younglings per family in vast underground bunkers. By the turn of the next century, the narrow strips of coral reef have been destroyed, and uh, yet again, they kind of destroyed another world of theirs. The Krogan could not be trusted to check their own numbers. While not a rich planet, it actually does have some pretty decent chunks of element zero as well as palladium platinum and iridium with the largest element zero deposits of pretty much the entire game definitely come scan garvog with over eight thousand element zero alone on that that's pretty wild and now finally we can head to rahilea and help tally with her uh, her trial here let's go ahead and let's land on the migrant fleet this is so cool. Look at how cool it is. A fleet of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million quarians. It is the largest array of spacefaring vessels in the known galaxy. So let's go. And you already know we've been waiting this whole time. Legion, you're coming with us, my boy. My, my friend, my conglomerate. Anyways, this is the builds where we will be rocking for now with Tally, and let's go ahead and let's look at what Legion actually has accessible, because that, this is the first time we're actually looking at his skills. He is a Geth Infiltrator, which is really funny for something I will show you uh, later on the Citadel, um, but we will go ahead and we will, of course, max out his Geth Infiltrator passive that he has here. And we're actually going to increase his weapon damage uh, and give him uh, this uh, Geth Assassin, which is going to make, again, that Widow uh, that he has now incredibly strong. We'll also go ahead and max out his AI hacking so that that is ready to go for, um, well, we're going to be fighting some Geth in this mission, of course. So having a Geth hack Geth sounds good to me. And we'll go ahead and put the rest of those into his combat drone and that my friends is going to be it for our legion so let's go ahead and change his uh his sniper rifle to the widow anti-material and we're also going to give him the geth pulse rifle because he's a geth it just makes sense to me uh we're also going to change her back to the geth plasma shotgun and ourselves are also going to change back to the geth plasma shotgun doesn't really matter what you choose for weapons here we're going to bring the arc projector since we are exclusively dealing with geth synthetics on this mission and with that we're ready, my friends. Let's do it. This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. I don't think it's a good idea to bring a... Thing off my ship before you start an incident that makes the Ascension Project fiasco with You're defending your ship. I respect that. But don't try to intimidate me, Captain. Or what? Or I take off this mask and breathe germs all over your nice, clean ship. I'm letting you aboard as a favor to Tali. The gate is too much. Leave it on your ship. Now, I actually don't really like that Renegade Interrupt. However, I do think it's kind of necessary for Shepard to come in here and establish uh, herself as not only a Spectre, but as Tally's commander, as Tally's captain. Uh, and it is, I like the first part of the Interrupt where where Shepard tells the, the Quarian, hey, you know, I, I respect what you're doing, but don't be pointing guns at me and trying to intimidate me. However, cool thing that we have, we're going to be getting a ton of unique dialogue since we brought Legion to this mission probably the most of any mission in the entire game uh, and we have two different options here we can charm or we can intimidate they're going to have the 
the same result. We'll be able to bring Legion with us. If you do not have a high enough charm or intimidate, you won't be able to bring him in there or them, and you, therefore you're not going to be able to get uh, the good stuff. So I definitely recommend doing this when you have a high enough charm or or uh, uh, intimidate so that you can actually do this. So we, of course, are going to charm our way on boards after being such a badass before that. This is your ship and I'm a guest, but Legion is part of my team. Unless you want to shoot me, we're both coming aboard. Or I could kick you both off. No one here likes Get or Cerberus. I can't guarantee your safety. I can guide them away from the more militant elements of the crew. There are a lot more militants these days, Talizora. And given the charges against you, it's only getting worse. What do you mean? They're charging you with bringing active Get into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. Uh, except for now. Oops. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no. No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Tali Zora must be so so nervous going into this. Look at this, my friends. Probably one of the very few times, if any, that somebody not from the Quarian fleet, the the flotilla, is actually on board, and uh, with a, a live active Geth, no less, which I just think is so flippin' cool. Anyways, we can't get back to the Normandy, but we can talk to Captain Cardana, and like I said, this is going to be a lot of dialogue, my friends. So, uh, I'll hide my face. Let's see what's going on here. You should speak with Admiral Vla. She's waiting for you up ahead. Something that we're going to discover pretty quickly is that the Admiral Board, which is kind of the governing body of the flotilla. Look at them looking at the Normandy. Look at the Normandy outside. It looks so cool. Uh, they will find out that... I can't believe they're charging Kalizora with such a thing. Yeah, me either. Uh, we'll find out that... You know, these guys, uh, they all, the Admiralty the board has some different ideas. Ship. I'm lodging a complaint. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you, bud. I don't blame you. And right here, our first Admiral, Shalaran. Tali Zorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. On the run. Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nemo. I take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zoravas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. Very interesting. But she should be proud of that. She serves with us. She serves? You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed. But I have no vote in the judgment. All right, well, let's I guess go. we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed, she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? Great. I'll do everything in my power to help you, Tally. Thank you, Shepard. I could not ask for a better counselor. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. 
I promise that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. Yes. The accused Talia Zora of Us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Security! A Geth is present in the courtroom. Does Charlie Zora think to affect this hearing with threats? Captain Donna allowed the Geth aboard. Do you intend to second-guess the Raya's captain, Admiral Chorus? Objection withdrawn. Shepard Vas Normandy, your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? I just cannot get over the fact that there is a Geth here. It is it is crazy. I'll be honest. This is my first time actually bringing uh, bringing Legion to her trial. If it helps Tali, I will. But in her heart, she remains Tali Zora Vasnima, a proud member of the Migrant Fleet. I regret that her captain is forbidden to stand at her side today. Nobody has been forbidden from anything. It is a simple. Lie to them if you must, Zalcoris, but don't lie to me and expect me to stay silent. The human is right. Admirals, please. Shepard's willingness to represent Tali Zora in this hearing is appreciated. Tali, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tali have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tali isn't accused of bringing back entire units. Only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I appreciate the need for this trial, Admirals. But right now, our first concern must be the safety of the migrant fleet. The Normandy stands ready to assist in whatever capacity necessary. Thank you. Quarry and strike teams have attempted to retake the ship. So far, without success. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. And something that we absolutely must do. Tally's dad could still be alive and stuck. With your permission, Admirals, yes. The good of the fleet must come first. And Tally needs to find her father. Agreed. And if you die on this worthy mission, Tally, we will see that your name is clear to these charges. We can discuss that later. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? 
we can talk with the admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. All right. Well, that's what we're going to do. Let's go. All right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Whatever Geth are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. So we now have the opportunity to run around this place talking to everybody, but the main fighting of this mission is actually going to be on the Alarai as we attempt to retake it from the Geth and hopefully find out the fate of Tally's father. It's amazing how strong Tally's being in this moment, I think. She's not only being tried for treason, she found out that her father is potentially dead. She found out that the Alarai, where presumably she, well, I guess it was a lab ship, so maybe she didn't grow up there, but still, I mean, that's, her father might be dead. Who knows who else she might be dead. And also, remember when she mentioned that uh, they don't have a death penalty because they just don't have enough quarian? Losing an entire ship and then strike teams is not good. And in fact, that one admiral, Admiral Zorus, was even willing to throw Tally away. Was like, hey, if you'd rather die an honorable death, then fine. So I think Admiral Zorus might be the hardest admiral to convince. But we may find, if he survived, Loyalty freedom's progress. More than just killing Tally Zorus is guilty. We will find Vitor Nara who was on Freedom's Progress at the very beginning of the game, one of the first missions that we could have done if we didn't give them to Cerberus and we sent them back uh, with Tally. We can actually find him, and he can actually even help us with the trial. So let's go ahead and see what Vitor has to say. Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you help me. Well, let's see uh, if Vitor has any information. Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank and you. It actually absolutely did. Uh, these two are going to help a ton. We'll see Vitor and somebody else that we've helped, and they will help us so much in trying to prove her innocence. And this is going to have some pretty important f effects, not only for the remainder of Mass Effect 2 and the fate of Tally Zora, Voss Normandy, but also of Mass Effect 3. There are some big things in Mass Effect 3, and they are decided kind of right here and the next episode that we do take care of yourself Vitor not many could have gone through what you did and come out sane I know I didn't but thank you commander it's only because of your help that I've come this far oh I like Vitor so we're going to wait on talking to Admiral Zen and instead we're gonna come over here and talk to Cal Rieger Cal Rieger Shepard Telezora good to see you both Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. Now, something to keep in mind, especially if you're going into Mass Effect 3, dear viewer, is that dark matter theory, because we've actually met somebody that is going to be pivotal in dark energy. Let's actually find out a little bit more about that. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy? 
Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard. I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're right, man. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. Now, unfortunately, I wish we could f ask Legion if he knows anything about why the Geth even went to Haystrom. Needless to say, this conversation won't happen if uh, Cal Rieger here never survived Haystrom. So, if you remember, when we recruited Tally, that was my priority. So, let's see how he's feeling after that battle. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Corians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly, fast. Yeah, even just a, a cut on their suit. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Talizora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. Yes, Cal Rieger did. All going. right. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. And the first of three admirals that we can talk to, Admiral Zen, who does appear to be on our side. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. And what a wonderful specimen this is. Geth's shell over standard mech interior. What did you convince a Geth to work with you? Legion is working with me voluntarily. It's part of my team. It has a name. Fascinating. The things I could learn under slightly different circumstances. This platform is not available for experimentation. Charming. I am pleased to see that the humans, at least, have not abandoned synthetics. This whole trial is a fast born of fear. Hmm. What do you mean in that? If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. Geth behavioral changes from hacking only last until programs are restored from archival copy. We judge this plan unsound, Creator Admiral. For once, Legion, we agree. 
We shall see, marvelous machine. We shall see. I love that Legion refers to the Quarians as creator. There's a certain level of respect there, oddly enough. Sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geral sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. You support experiments on living creatures. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Jeez. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace then, as Shala Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. And who would be that Admiral? She's already speaking as if Tally's father is dead, but let's find out a little bit more about the Alarai before we head there. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces and certainly not enough to make that many Geth. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Could that then mean that her father was involved in experiments that maybe and she didn't right know about? What more proof did the Admiral need? Yeah, I agree. They didn't really help our case, now did it? Anyways, we have more Admirals that we can talk to by heading over here. We can find Shalaran again, her aunt, apparently. Admiral Garel. The yes, it is. Thank you, Quarian. We also have Admiral Chorus, who definitely doesn't like us. I think we should probably start with the Admiral who might actually, you know, like us. So we'll start with Shalaran. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alaray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. You know, I actually... I agree with her, though. I know you're trying to help her, Admiral, but that was over the line. She has nobody else to speak for her, Shepard. I am doing everything in my power. That's what her father would have wanted. Don't say it like that. He could still be alive on that ship. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Uh, yeah. I mean, apparently you have a lot to say. Let's hear about that ship. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Real Zoro only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. Jeez. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. I sincerely hope we find that. Now, we've noticed that these admirals don't seem to get along. Let's see if we can use that to our advantage. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the admirals. 
You call it that? Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. The Geth situation isn't as simple as you think. Not all of them worship the Reapers. I don't think the other Admirals would care about that. They want the home world back, and they want all Geth destroyed. Shala, don't you want to see us retake the home world? I don't think we can, Tally. But it may not be about what I think. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. Interesting. And what about your relationship with Rail Zora? How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Real was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tally from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. The bubble? I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. That's beautiful. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Real was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tali and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Interesting. All right, well, thank you, Shalaran. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. And let's see if maybe Admiral Geralt who also seems a little bit supportive of us. Let's see what he has to say. Tally, I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. You got Admiral Corris backing up worse than a Krogan toilet. I'm glad to see Tally's captain knows how to handle a courtroom. Ha <laughs> I'm just here to help Tally, Admiral. I'm glad someone is. You believe I'm innocent, don't you, Admiral? I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Hmm. What are the other admirals saying? Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. <laughs> Admiral Corris is the same whining suit wetter he always was. You disagree with Admiral Corris's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn Geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Even if I bring a Geth to him? Well, let's find out more about their fighting. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the votes. We just need to give people hope for victory. The Geth on your homeworld aren't the same ones who worked with Saren. They have different factions. Good. Maybe some of them will kill each other fewer for us to deal with. The only Geth that matter to me are the ones that took away our world. 
I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy, and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. He yeah, has a good point. Let's hear more about the Alarai. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best Marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tully. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. That bad, huh? You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge, and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, we're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's rail for you. <laughs> Sounds like a good guy. I feel like they're setting up that he might still be holding out. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Well, he seems to be on our side, but he also seems to want war with the Geth. And as we know from Legion, maybe that's not the best idea anymore. And finally, we have Admiral Chorus. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Talia a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalchorus Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Oh, yeah? What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Sarah are to be lauded. But like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. Kind of makes sense. I need to know about this Quib Quib, though. You have a ship named Quib Quib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. <laughs> if it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrans or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib, and I will not flee because of petty insults. <laughs> I kind of like him. All right, what about the fighting? You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tally, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end for both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. Well, we have a Geth here. Legion, would peace work? Do you think the Geth would be willing to accept a truce with Quarians, Legion? We did not seek hostilities with creators. We fought for continued existence. So, your people would be open to peace? Not without additional data that suggests coexistence is possible or desirable for creators. When the creators have believed victory is possible, 
They have attacked us 100% of the time. I understand. It would be difficult to argue for peace when faced with odds like those. That does not mean the argument should not be made. I actually appreciate Admiral Chorus more than I thought I would. Well, what does he have to say about the LRI? Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. Okay, he twisted that on us. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Hmm. You know, I mean... Thank you. I do feel like... it. I don't know. It makes sense to me. What Chorus says. I think peace between Quarians and Geth is what is actually needed for both. This is on their heads. I do love that the Quarian are mentioning things as we run around. We can also check with Captain Cardana again. Such a good speaker. See if they have anything to say. My father dead or trapped on the Alarai? My name stripped? How could you not tell me this, Captain? I'm sorry, Tali. I was under orders from Admiral Ran herself. I couldn't say anything. She wanted to get you onto the Alarai. She said that the Admiralty Board needed to see your reactions. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Yeah, uh, what are you doing? Why did you post guards outside our ship? Aside from the fact that your crew is Cerberus, technically it's under quarantine. Any accidental intership contact could sicken or kill our crew. Makes sense, and don't forget, the Quarians and Cerberus have a lot of history because of the Ascension program, which actually he mentioned when we arrived here on the ship right before we did the Renegade Interrupt. Why is the fleet here? A binary blue giant system isn't the most hospitable place in the galaxy. Not if you're looking for a planet to land on. We've been doing a lot of deep range travel. The bulk of the fleet is here to charge up using photovoltaic solar cells. We're running an ice mining operation at the Red Dwarf six light years off. They haul it here and we melt it for water or crack it into deuterium, hydrogen and oxygen. Who decides where the migrant fleet is going? That's a more complex question than you might think. The Conclave votes on where we're going, but the Admiralty works out how we get there safely. Avoiding areas of piracy, scheduling resupply, that sort of thing. Seems like you're cut out of the loop. Raya has a representative in the Conclave, like every other ship. But me, personally? I don't get to say in anything that happens beyond my ship's hull. If my crew doesn't like the way things are going, we're free to leave the fleet at any time. Of course, since the Raya produces about a third of the fleet's food, they try to keep us happy. We'll talk to you later, Captain. Good thing we came and talked to Cardana here. There's no, uh, there's nothing you can get here. There's no... There's no credits or anything to find here in this first half of the loyalty mission. But this is a lot of dialogue, my friends. And, uh, it goes, I mean, there's quite a bit. But I love it because it tells us so much about the Quarians. You're darn tootin' it is there, Quarian. Uh, I love the, the dialogue happening with the Quarians. And finally, we can actually head this way here. And once we do, we can kind of look around and explore the ship a little bit. But uh, there's nothing, not, like I said, there's nothing that we can find. No items or anything, but we can just keep following this hole. I and let it get onto the ship. I'm lodging a complaint. Yeah, all right, buddy. So we do have some really cool, I don't, I like it. Yeah, the Quarians will repeat what a lot of the other Quarians are saying, but I think it's cool. Anyways, the second half of Tally's loyalty mission starts when we talk to this shuttle guard. And my friends, we are going to save that for another episode because I don't want it to be too long and it will be because there is stuff that will be happening right when we're done with this as well uh, that I definitely want to spend some time looking at. So we will save the end of Tally's loyalty mission, the second half of it, the combat half of it for the next episode, uh, which will actually be premiering if you're in the premiere 
right after this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you enjoy the Quarians as much as I do. I love them. I think their story is fascinating. And uh, I can't wait for you to see the results of what's happening on the Alarai, especially when we bring our friend Legion. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the heretics. Bye, everyone.